What is up, Galaxy Soldiers? It is me, Master of Galaxy Eyes, and today I am bringing you my Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon deck profile for 2020. I'm so excited to bring this to you guys. So, without any further introduction, let's just jump right into the deck profile. So, starting with the deck profile, we have three Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons, two Galaxy Knight, and three Galaxy Soldiers. This is your standard Galaxy package. You always want to run these cards. They're your main cards that get the deck running. Next, one Galaxy Brave, one Galaxy Cleric. These two cards help out because Galaxy Brave can special summon himself, and then Galaxy Cleric can shuffle cards into your deck, and then you draw more cards. Next, two Galaxy Wizard. Galaxy Wizard allows you to search for other Galaxy cards in your deck, so really helpful. And then two Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon. Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon can special summon any Galaxy Eyes monster from your hand. Or your graveyard. So he's really, really good. On to the Photon cards of the deck. We have two Photon Vanishers. Photon Vanishers searches your Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Next, three Photon Orbital. This card is super amazing and really good for the deck. He allows you to search for any Galaxy or Photon monster. It's really amazing. And he also gives a 500 attack point boost whenever you equip him to one of your monsters. Next. One, Curry Photon. This card has helped me out of so many sticky situations. Just because you can send him from the hand to the graveyard by paying 2,000 life points, no damage the rest of the turn. And then you can put him back in your hand by sending a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, which just helps with so many combo plays. And then currently I'm running two Nebula Dragon. This card will eventually be replaced with Afterglow Dragon when he comes to the TCG. Next, on to the spells. Two, Galaxy Expedition, and two, Galaxy Trance. These are your Galaxy spell cards that you're going to be running in the deck because they're super helpful with terms of summoning more monsters for your combo plays. One, Photon Sanctuary. Easy, easy summons right there. And next, on your Rank Ups, Rank Up Magic, the seventh one, Rank Up Magic, Cypher Ascension. Obviously, you know, being the master of Galaxy Eyes, I have to run every single Galaxy Eyes monster, and so you got to include the Neos. Next, one Polymerization. You'll see what that's for. It helps out with your combo plays. I really love this card. Next, on to Utility for the deck. You got three Tradens and two Return of the Dragon Lords. Trade in just because you have so many level eights in the deck, and then Return of the Dragon Lords can special summon Galaxy as Photon Dragon from the graveyard, and eventually Afterglow, and then it just also protects most of your Xyz monsters while they're on the field. And then for the meta plays, you have two Dark Ruler No More, and then one Raigeki. This just helps you break boards even more, because if your opponent makes a board where you can't get around it with your monsters, just Dark Ruler in them, Easy dub. And then finally, to finish up the main deck, the best counter trap card in the game, Tachyon Transmigration. Hands down, you can't tell me I'm wrong, because you're wrong. <laughs> and then obviously, it wouldn't be the Master of Galaxy Eyes without the extra deck. So, so important. For the polymerization, you have one twin Photon Lizard. And then you have Star Leash Photon Blast Dragon. Star Leash Photon Blast Dragon is just a super good utility card with your level fours that you have in the deck. Next on to your Link Monsters. You have one Galaxy Satellite Dragon and one Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. These two cards are really awesome because Satellite Dragon can put any card on top of your deck during your opponent's end phase. And then Soul Flare Dragon is just great interruption on your opponent's turn. And then the amazing extra deck you have all been waiting for. One number 107 Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon and then his upgraded form, number C107. And then we have the Cyphers, so you got Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade Dragon, and Neo Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. This is what your rank of Magic the Seventh one is for, and your Cypher Ascension. And then you have one number 62 Prime Photon Dragon, one Full Armor, amazing for interruption, a Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. And then, to finish up your extra deck, you have one number 38 Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy, and one number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. This has been Master of Galaxy Eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next deck profile. Bye-bye.